Oh, starting out fucking riveting, eh? Imagine you start your live stream and you're just sitting there eating your pickles. Let's skip ahead already, for fuck's sake. Work in two hours. Rudy, what? You ever shop Timu? I haven't yet. I need to. No, we don't only talk about food. I don't talk about uh, like any weight loss journey stuff. <laughs> She's eating like a bologna sandwich on white bread with like shit cheese and takes a bite while saying, I'm not talking about my weight loss journey stuff. Remember that next time you want to. F fucking hell. <laughs> Did something happen? I've seen a theory floating around that possibly she got some bad news about her health and that's why now it's like she doesn't give a shit anymore. Is it possible? I don't think so. <laughs> Caramel Frappe, thank you for the super chat. Yup. Tomato sandwich, yes. I love it with mayo and salt and pepper. Hey, Dana. Every single day. Every single day she has to come in for one of my things. Ma'am. You eat everything. You're like a fucking garburator. Please don't tell me that you love a tomato sandwich with salt, pepper, and mayo. That's my favorite sandwich. I have said that a million and a half fucking times. I live for a good tomato sandwich. I wait for the tomatoes to come back in season. I'm not going to rage the way I did yesterday over Catechez. Uh, but for the love of Christ, Chantal, every fucking day you have to take one of my things and try and make it yours because you've got no personality of your own. A tomato sandwich is your favorite thing. I've never seen you once make a tomato sandwich. I've seen you make the 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 bologna with the macaronis in it, hella times, for example, and a lot of other things. I've never once seen you make a tomato sandwich, but that's my favorite sandwich. You are such a fucking weirdo, Chantal, for real. Foodie and beauty, thank you for the super chat. If we put in the pile, how much food has she eaten? Ah. I can't even imagine. Hello. Bill Afia. But what language? Is that in Arabic? Hi, Anastasia. I see you. Hey, Foxy Cat. Late night sandwich. Shannon, hi. Hi, Shannon. I'm starting to think so, too, that it's on purpose, of <laughs> course. Tomato plants, nice. Are they going to make, like, big tomatoes, or? Oh. Arabic, yes. Oh. Usually, I say it's Saha Wafia. So maybe it's in different dialects. That's cool. Yeah, it's like white. <laughs> it's just white bread. But it has vitamin D. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I think Salah did tell me about that. We were watching a video. And I remember, like, him telling it means, like, satay and also, yeah. Spicy mayo, hello. There's something glitchy about YouTube tonight. Hmm? Hey, Hissy Fitz. I like Miracle Whip on chicken burgers only. We're talking about whatever you guys want to. Hi, Paul Freed. Lanky and Miracle Whip is trash and it has no reason to even exist. Cheesy delusion. Thank you for the super chat. I work all day in the ER with people who come in and want to live. Here she is disregarding everything that would keep her healthy. Others don't get the privilege. How sad is it, eh? Do you guys want to play Pictionary or something? I just yesterday asked why they didn't get Jackbox and she doesn't play a game that they can all participate in. Uh, that was yesterday. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Good, good. At least take my fucking ideas and do them with your goddamn audience because you're boring as hell, Chantal. You got to do something at this point. And I want to see how bad you are at trivia. Yalla. I know, Ghostface, face the numbers. So this sandwich is just... Hi, Tori. Bread, chicken luncheon meat, roomy cheese, mayo and mustard. Disgusting. Uh, Kizuma, thank you for the chat. <laughs> Ow. There was something crunchy, I think, in the cheese. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's fucking disgusting. It's not all Chinese. Okay, I'm going to have one more garlic because they're intense. You find a little crunchy bit in cheese and you're just going to keep on eating it? I'm sickened. I'm on the other side of the world and I'm sickened by that. 
fucking hell, man. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Are we a Mount Eaton at least high Everest base camp? Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know who that is, like Pink Mommy. Meep, have you ordered stuff from Timo? Do an impression and we'll guess who it is. <laughs> Release you by help. Use mustard to draw. Why do you guys make me laugh? <laughs> I play Pictionary to see your drawings. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys think she broke her tooth and that was the crunchy thing? No. Oh my God. And she just keeps seeing it. Uh. I don't think it's I nice to drop pictures in. of people, but I really want to. <laughs> you like Timo? What are you doing, Juice? Yeah, it's in the cheese. There's something crunchy. Ugh, the girl, girl, this... thank you for the super chat. So nasty. It's your mom's credit card? Oh, no. Did she fight it? <laughs> what? No. Oh, good name change. <laughs> Golden Pondu, goddess of the freaks. I like it, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Unless, oh no, I want more pickles. I like. How do they make luncheon meat? Just my look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating. Yeah. Yes, what crunchy? I hope it was coming from the cheese and not the meat. Oh. Babe, that's so long in the chat. Anyone Arabic can read this? <laughs> you look sheen. Green grapes, I'm eating pickled mountain garlic and sandwich. Where is he? Hi, Tangerine Sophia. Wow, that was a face. Where is he? <laughs> The truth slips out a little bit. I think that's how she is when she can't like get a hold of him or see him. Where is he? You can read it. I didn't see him. Ah, my sandwich. My sandwich. Okay, Sophia. I'll give you guys. It's so, Salah usually reads it, but we'll give you guys. You Arabic guys, don't eat my sandwich. Hey, wait. <laughs> when you look at me like this, no, I'm sleeping. Okay, guys, read this, Arabic people. Hi, babe. Miss you in here. Miss you. Oh, no, I have white sandwich bread in my teeth. Sorry. My sandwich. Hi, Charles. She dumped on the thing and my sandwich went flying. No, I just used my phone for now, but it's pickled. Yeah. So what does it say? <laughs> it's spicy. Some halal chocolate-covered marshmallow. Oh, marshmallows are not halal, eh? I forgot about that. White bread embraces <laughs> next year. I used to have a friend, yeah. I never liked going to Subway with her. It was bad. There was nothing. Uh, King Zuma, thank you again for Super Chat. Her eyeliner has been on for days. Yeah, days and days. And it just keeps flaking off and going into her eyeball. She'll never wash her face, but still lies about pra praying. Uncle Leo, hello. Thank you for the super sticker. I, what, what is she doing? She looks high as a kite. She looks batshit crazy. She looks swollen as hell. Look at her upper and lower like eyelids. Full-ass Funko baby right now. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you for the super chat. In a five-year period, she had five surgeries, cancer diagnosis, and fought heart failure because of Lyme's disease. She just has to lose weight, and I'm livid. She's thrown away 20 grand a month for this? I must have missed something. This has to be half of a story. Somebody in, in your entourage or something? Nothing that grosses me out. Come on, I'm holding this up. There's nothing that mountain garlic extra. That's why it's spicy. Thanks, babe. Hey, booty fish. I call her booty fart sometimes. Ew, right? cheeseburgers with a straw fed nama. That's so nasty. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I know it sticks to your mouth. These are so good, though. These freaking pickles. Yeah. Okay. 
Pictionary or charades, yeah. I want to play Pictionary. Wait, what does the three mean? Okay. Any vampires around here? This is too fucking boring, man. Ew. Cherry Blossom Boca, okay. thank you for the TikTok. Chat. What? Lived in Kuwait two years, can't read Arabic. I'll one up that. Lived in Kuwait two years and keeps getting corrected over this and still just asks, are there any Arabic people who can translate this? And not maybe, I don't know what she's trying to say, any Arabs who can read this and tell me what this means or any people who speak Arabic who can tell me what this means. You know how many times she's been corrected with that shit? It's it's ridiculous. It's a, she does not want to learn anything. What do you do? What do you think you're doing? Oh, here. Oh, my back, my back, my back. Oh, my back. You like the garlic bread? I'm sure you like it. Oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Musical mistress, thank you for the super chat. Exactly. Thank you. You don't pay rent. You don't buy the groceries. You don't pay for gas to go and get you your little cans of tuna and shrimp. So, you got to take the kisses. It's collateral. You're cute. Sorry. Okay, I, I totally, I went right over my head. Forgive me. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you for the super chat. I've been fighting all this, and she's throwing the finger at those who've had to fight to stay alive. Absolutely is. I can't imagine how frustrating that is. Babisha. Yeah, she was smelling like my breath. She's weird. You like smelly things. Don't you like whenever they go, they smell something really intently, and then they go, <laughs> what's a healthy weight now? Depends on a lot of things about your body, your height. I need to blow my nose. The eat sweets, yeah. We still have some in the fridge, and we still have some uh, mamu. I'm not in the mood for sweets. I was in the mood for a sandwich. Oh, really? There's still hella sweets? Show us. I want proof of life for the sweets. You full of shit. Which, that was perfect. Um, what else? The pickles? I crave those. Like, you should see all of the pickles and olives in our fridge right now. And it's full of, um, I have cases of these. Because you know why? I don't like diet soda that much. It gives me a headache. But this, I don't know what it is. I can't even tell that they don't have any sugar. Yeah, exactly, me. So I bought a whole bunch because I love them and it keeps me from drinking like sugary drinks. I try to only have two a day though. So like one with like a mukbang or dinner and then one at night with like a snack, like what I just had. And yeah. Yep. Yeah, Lovato. They're really good. Yeah. But yeah. So I bought about five cases. Sugar-free sour. They are those candies. Yeah, they're expensive though. <laughs> I don't know. Are there mountains in Kuwait, babe? Four, it's 40 in Ontario. So what's the point of it? Five cases of fucking iced teas. She can just make some fucking iced teas. It's like the easiest thing to make. She does nothing all day. Can't be bothered to make iced tea. Broke a shit. But buying cases of iced teas five at a time. Insane. Yulia, that beach. Thank you for the super chat. Sometimes I really wonder why we're still watching. I honestly think, for me anyway, I want to speak for myself. I have been watching this mess for so long now. I really do got to see how it ends. Like, I, I'm not dipping out now. I, I'm too deep. You know what I mean? Um, as bad as it will get, I will be sitting here consuming the content and, and still going, oh, my God, this is awful now. Why the fuck are we still watching this? But I'll be watching. Even going back to Canada for the summer. No way. <sighs> Plubisha. Hi, babe. Do you feel a big difference using for C? Oh, yeah. Before I had my CPAP, it, I remember it started like sofa for We can do that. I have enough pillows. It started off as I would wake up gasping for air. I would wake up with a pounding headache. Pounding headache. It would go away after a while. I would wake up. I like all pickles, Lisa. All pickles. Yep. Hi, Tracy. Oh, I didn't see you. There's mountains. What is that? The signs of the beatus or something? You wake up with a headache like that? Oh no, maybe the, not the CPAP. Yeah, the sleep apnea, gasping for air, probably that. Wow. Nee Marie Hall's baby doll. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. She's ruined chilies for you. I'm sorry. It's here. Let's go see the garlic farm. Yeah, I heard that too, ECP. Hi, Mila. Okay. So what happened was, then 
so to avoid that, I started sleeping upright like this, like more upright. And then my mom noticed, like I would, I fell asleep, like I, and I would fall asleep. I'd be always tired, you know? I'm sorry for the quick pause, but I, I just want to address this. El Ismay, thank you for the super chat. Your body still processes those fake sweet drinks, the same in excess. She's so clueless. I have noticed, um, you like, okay, you, you know, you guys know me and my zero drinks and I refuse to waste like calories on the drinks and stuff. Those zero drinks make me want sweets. They give me a craving for sweets that I didn't have like that before the zero drinks all the time. When I was just drinking like normal drinks, I used to prefer salty things are more like the, the thing that I would crave. I was like a chips person. Now with the fucking popsicles, I'm a freak for the goddamn popsicles and ice creams and those Malona bars just fuck me up, right? I blame those goddamn zero drinks. I never had this before. So yeah, they do definitely make you crave sugar in excess. And when you're someone like Chantal, who, I mean, we saw all the sugar she took down yesterday. Uh, it might not be such a good thing for her. So then I went for a sleep study and yeah, I had pretty, I had moderate uh, level of sleep apnea. So then I, then they gave me a prescription and I went and got a trial machine till I got my own machine or whatever. Uh, and thank you, Zuma. Thank you again for the super chat. Thanks for coming out of the shadows. Can't even tell you. Oh, hi Tracy. I didn't see you. Climb Mount Garlic to get the pickles. <laughs> I can do it, babe. Wait, there's information on here. They have a phone number. Maybe we can call and say, maybe you can call and say, um, Excuse me. Wait a minute. It says expiry date 240310. Well, maybe they mean October. Oh, better eat them. Hi, Gabriel. I'm a side sleeper. When I was growing up, I was a stomach sleeper. But now, no. It hurts. Baby boy, David, thank you for the super chat. Do you think there's a wall of stench when you walk through her front door? Absolutely. Might sink outside of her front door. It's like seeping under the cracks building looks like a tenement the chest and the belly is like when you have a belly sleeping on your stomach is not oh really no if you don't if you don't treat your sleep apnea you are gonna get you're you can have a heart attack like you can literally die in your sleep i gotta blow my nose just give me one sec okay thank you oh i'll mute it for you any translation for apnea yeah and uh pfft. hey laura what does a uh, youtube translate say Hey, Vanessa. Octavia, I don't know, but it wouldn't be Hermes. That's for sure. <laughs> Why do I laugh like that? <clears throat> what are you doing? What are you? My cat is cute. So cute. <sighs> Laura, you only get two highs. That's it. No. Foxy, my daughter just did a sleep study ordered by her doctor. She found out she wasn't getting a proper sleep at all. Yeah. Does she have sleep apnea? Oh. 40 years old. I'm sorry. I don't mean this is like a dig to anyone who has sleep apnea, but your whole content is either talking about food or your assorted like medical conditions. We're sitting talking about sleep studies and sleep apnea. The stream's called Okay, Let's Talk. I didn't know this was going to be the fucking topic. Foodie Beauty, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, I miss your watermark and how it would set up Foodie Beauty's shoulder judging the fuck at her. It's true. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Thanks for reminding me. Mm. <laughs> Tell them you were more pretty, not rich. <laughs> pretty, not rich. Yeah, I can see you, Laura. I just looked it up. Apnea. This is when you stop breathing while asleep or have. Oh, okay. I didn't even know what the word apnea meant either, babe. So there you go. Yeah, you stop breathing when you're sleeping because your throat has this little flap of skin. Yeah, it is me. That especially mental. Oh my gosh, I'm a freaking rage. I don't want to hear about our flap summer. Of skin. I'll die. Hi, Louise. I would pass out and then I'd have to carry me on, put me on a camel to get me out of there. <laughs> what about Iceland? Hmm. I think that's a bit. E. Yikes. Uh, I'm uncomfy. I cuddle cats. Thank you for the super chat. Jen was 46 when she died. Think on that, Chantal. Eek. A bit much right now. I wanted something a little simpler. But like Thailand was perfect. It was like not that far. It was simple. It was affordable. Notting Hill Carnival. Are they going back to Thailand? She just said Thailand was perfect. She had a horrible time in Thailand. 
We watched her in Thailand. She barely left the fucking hotel in Thailand. Except for her cheese toasties. The Thailand was perfect. Maybe that's the next visa run. Hmm. Emma Peel, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Oh, is your, is your costume ready? I didn't think they would make jerk chicken at Notting Hill. That's interesting. Indonesia, yeah. I want to go there too, but isn't wasn't there like a yeah, an active volcano in Indonesia as well? Cruise Turkey. Egypt in the summer would be like here, <laughs> you know. <sighs> you still wear your hijab. Cruise buffets. Yes. I know you're not gonna believe me, but the best thing about buffets for me are the salad bar because you can put unlimited dressing and cheese, like the shredded cheese. Come to California, Hong Kong. Stop it. So the best thing about the salad bar is that you're in control of making your own salad, which means I can walk up to the dressing and not take any salad at all, fill that bitch up with French, and then go sprinkle cheese on top of it. Then she would take it back to her table and treat it like a soup. Nasty. Remember the Ponderosa restaurant? I remember them having a really awesome salad bar. Oh, what, Natalie? So koalas have chlamydia, not syphilis? Ugh, what the heck? Can, you can get that from just touching them or what? Jenka got out of hand. Carl Pink Pinkleton on the pyramids. <laughs> yeah, you go there, you touch. I'm not going inside any of those pyramids. Have you seen? You have to crouch and like, no. <sighs> Carry one of them. No way, Eileen. The, co the koalas have clap. <laughs> koalas are beautiful animals. Yeah, they really are. They're so cute too. But do you ever hear their noise? It's like, <laughs> Vietnam. Yeah, I would like to go there. No, well, I'm just, I don't know. Philippines. Have you ever heard the sound of those big ass turtles when they bone? It is not the sound that you would expect it to be. Highly recommend if you've not heard it before. Search that after this stream. Embrace yourself. Maybe someday. Oh, I see, Vanessa. Okay. And you have Jamaican in your family, right? <laughs> Meep. Is Julia looking out the window? No, she's right here. I say, what are you doing about a thousand times a day? Go to South Africa and meet up with Luigi. Ah, I see you now. Okay. The big ones go, eh. And the little ones go, eh. And it's the cutest fucking, eh. But it's so nasty and so cute. He's team lawyer. What is this about? Korea, South Korea? It's so close to North Korea, I'm scared. I don't know if we would go to Jamaica. Jane Fonda liked Vietnam, really? I don't know. I guess that's about it. Because I don't know. I don't really like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really think. What do you guys think? Yes, Nixie. Let's go to the local Roach Motel and chill out. <laughs> Roach Motel, you. Write it on paper and put it in a hat and pick a random one. Yes. I, I think we might do that. Maybe. We'll see. As long as the AC works exactly. He looked at his auto and then, yeah, she was flirting with him. It's true. Yeah. How do I keep cool? Just staying in with AC mostly. Otherwise, I'm hot, really hot. Like, there's nothing cool about it. <laughs> oh, hi, Jasmine. Big Beezer. Hi, Island Dragonfly. Roach Queen, you called. What are you doing here? Oh my god, you guys don't mind the bag on the ground, but. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you cute? You think this is legal for you to look so cute? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. No. It's not legal. <laughs> she's so cute. Did you see her the way she was laying? <laughs> she, she's stupid. Stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Mommy is baked and we're taking a sidebar. Hold on. I went and got the clip myself. <clears throat> Here is the sound of the turtle's bon uh, boning. Come on. <laughs> Foodie and beauty, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh, 
my, my hands up. Everybody's hands up. Everybody's hand is up. Mrs. Muerta, thank you for the super chat. Scared to be close to North Korea, but said she'd fight with Hamas in Palestine. Sure she would. Oh, I'm I'm so sure she would. S such a big mouth. Such a dumb, dumb, big mouth. For fuck's sake, man. She, oh. she said she would go and fight with Hamas in Palestine, really. Well, <laughs> fucking lunatic. I don't know what to say to that. Luna, thank you for the super chat. My cockatiel does clicking sounds when he cooms. Ooh, clicking, you don't say. Huh, interesting. Anyway, okay, that was my sidebar. Let me get the heifer. Hold on. To be cute. Thank you, Northeast gal. That's nice. He's freezing, Rosalia. That's her tactic to fat shame you and throw you off if she attacks the law. <laughs> She's thank you, Eileen. Europe is nice because you have many cultural, different languages, and foods. You can visit more than one country, and the trip also countries are small. Yeah, yeah. There's places in Europe I'd like to go. For sure, I just want to. We want to travel like everywhere we can. You know, you use three blankets now. <laughs> yeah, you're always cold. The heated blankets, chopstick training. Forest Katria? No, I don't. Is it a YouTuber? <laughs> hey, Jeff Cheese, I hope it was good for you, Bish. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh. Hi, Vanna. All I can smell is garlic bees. Howie, you big fan. You big man. But Europe is like big. Even a slight dip in temperature would help. Yeah, that's true. Even if it went was like 30, which I used to think was boiling in Canada. I'm using one blanket. <laughs> well, yeah, think about it. Mellow Manka, thank you for the super chat. She she is eating herself to death, and that's the the road that she's taken, right? North Korea, she can't get the food that she wants access to. Of course, she's terrified of North Korea. But it's not for the reasons most people would be terrified. Well, will I get my fucking Burger King and my chilies? <laughs> yeah, well... I know you're always cold. Sorry about that. Even in the winter here, I put the AC way down and then you're even more freezing for me. I did not watch House of Dragon. Yeah, okay, F. Soon enough. Get for Salah. <laughs> Let's go to the North Face store and buy you a jacket you can wear in here. August 26. Oh, no problem, Vanessa. Don't worry about it. I hope you have a great time at the Notting Hill place, at the Notting Hill Festival. Norwegian Forest Cat. Oh, oh my God. She's so nice. boring that my sidebar was so much better than her stream. I wish we were just watching a whole stream about turtles. That's how boring you are, Chantel, for real, for real. Coffee passion. No. I <laughs> she's Get doing. the cat out of here. Yeah, her face, she, her face is, she's different looking. I don't know what kind of breed she is. She's not, I don't think she's purebred, but she has a sort of a smushed in face. Like her mommy. My name is for short gnomes. Why? Could the cat be a Funkel cat? Maybe that's why. Hmm. Julevard of Broken Tree. I love it, Eldritch Moon. Julevard of Broken Dreams. Don't look at me like this. Her parents were bro and sister. Oh no. Funkel cat. Funkel cat. Exactly. An alley demon. Here's the cutest gift. <laughs> Howie, another time. He's probably sleeping in his uh, house of socks. I give him like socks that I only find one of. I just give them for him to add to his bedding. He loves them. I buy him proper bedding from the store too, but he. Ew, that poor rat fink is sniffing her dirty ass fucking socks all day. That's disgusting. Poor rat fink. He already has such a miserable life. Then you're throwing your nasty socks in his cage. Yulia, that beach, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> he loves the socks, so. She's from down south Kuwait. <laughs> Are you from Wafra? I think that's the south. I don't know. Okay, BCD. And get a sleep test. You need a white hijab from Ross. A white ski pole. Oh, a ski pole? <laughs> she needs siblings. <laughs> I forgot all Ciao. about that. KK, thanks for reminding me. And thanks for the super chat. Yaha, hee hoo. Yes. <laughs> I gotta get him a snack now, though. 
Okay, if you bring Howie out, you gotta get him a cheese slice <laughs> or a carrot. She could be a doll face person. Ski mask, not as cool. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I just heard a little bit of a goofy laugh. I skipped through. She had the rat think in her hand. I'm not here for rat think content, but I also was not here for goofy, and I just heard it. Ugh, nasty. Nima Reed, thank you for the super chat. Why is she trying so hard to be nice to her chat? I don't fucking know. What happened to the rages? What happened to Chantal? Why is she trying to snuff Chantal? I don't get it. I think the lights like that is very good for you. No, I don't like it. But Shut up, top Pete's leaf. Different. You like it better like this? Yeah. Blair Witch. No, the part where she has both books. No. Thank you for bringing Howie. Of course, big man. Of course. He's a big man. He has cheese in his cheek. Look at that spotlight exactly in your face. Okay. What do you say? That's so beautiful. Thanks, babe. Oh Hold my up, god. Yes. You big. He's such a good boy too. Just he's a little hands holding the cheese. Almost sounded like Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Saying the song lines. He's chunky. I'm chunky. Me. <laughs> I hate Chucky movies. I would just chuck him in a fire. He's this tall. Kick him in the face. You know. But he has a powerful. Hmm. That was RPH. I'm intrigued. Thank you for the super chat. The noises are not the weirdest part. Interesting. Oh yeah. No, he looks like an evil Dorito. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> no celebrations today, Eggs on Leg. We have to thwart our plans were thwarted by my back, but tomorrow, inshallah. Tomorrow, right, babe? If it's better, we can maybe do what we gotta do. <laughs> I know I love horror movies, but I hate Chucky. I don't know why, but I don't know. I used to watch it when I was, I know, young. Did you? Yeah. Sessa makes a lot of the count voice. He doesn't know who the count is. I'll show him the count and then maybe next time. Plabisha. <laughs> That's not very nice, but it was pretty funny. Huh? Megan was a pretty good movie, though. Yeah. Something um, uh, great. Yeah, it's kind of like Chucky, but on like steroids, you know. Just sit on Chucky. Yeah, I know, right? Smother him. <laughs> they both M3, uh, GEM, right? Megan, yeah. Megan. <laughs> the M3. Crafty Gypsy. It's okay. So, this is a question for Salah from Golden Girl. What does Miha mean? Miha. Yeah. Is it an Arabic series, Golden Girl? I think it's something uh, like an uh, expression. Like, Nia! Like, like this. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not telling her that she should have, like, uh, private convos with her people in her chat or whatever, but why doesn't she just at this point? There's a couple of them, the ones she talks to the most. Like, just make, make yourselves a little Discord or something or a group chat. Fucking talk to them. This is so unnecessary. You haven't done anything. You haven't said a th fucking thing. You're having little small talk with randos in your chat. That's not, you You called this, okay, let's talk. Let's talk about what, bitch, what? This is clickbait. You're in Sharmuta. Imagine having so little going on that you have to clickbait that there will be a conversation in this stream. And it's like, ah, nope, duped again. She's, <laughs> what is this? 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. 100% foodie beauty animal abuser always. Dark Shards, hello! <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Sure, is it like a... It's not complicated. You mean Ni Hao? That is Chinese for hello. Ni Hao? Yeah, I don't know. Ni Hao is uh, hello in Philippines, yeah. Oh, it's Philippines, uh, sorry, Chinese. Uh, Ni Hao in Chinese. Yeah. yeah. How did you change your name that fast? Boning Turtles! Ah! Thank you for the super chat. I would love they to... They speak Farsi. I always thought they spoke Arabic too, but no. They're Persian, they're not Arabs. <laughs> so I'm not sure. She finds out at 40 years old. Calls the rest of us uncultured swine. Uh... Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't speak Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only re found that out recently too, uh, Golden Girl. Melly, yeah, we don't have any Pofak, any cheese puffs right now, but that was cute eh, when he tried to stuff it. Teddy Rupskin, I used to have one, and a cricket doll. What do you call a hippie's wife? What? Oh, that's so interesting. Gunty Pondu, thank you for the info and the super chat. Sugar-free sweeteners can cause the release of insulin in some people. This would cause your blood sugar to dip and crave sugar. That makes sense. 
Neha to a grasshopper. Hey, Scrape Goat. <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I gotta tell all my friends that one. They get mad when I tell them bad jokes. Oh, poltergeist. You would like that. Poltergeist. Yeah. I take I I think uh, you know, you know horror too like me. Shutter Island, no, he hasn't. I don't think. I forgot to watch uh, Kill Bill. Uh, it's, but maybe, uh, oh my God! Uh, I, I'm sorry. Did I click wrong? And I'm on the fucking couples channel. Nope. Get the fuck out of here, tall Pete. I actively avoid you, like the rest of the human race. You sick fuck. Get out of here. Shut the fuck up, Darlin Rodriguez. Thank you for the super chat. My theory is she knows we're all waiting for her to rage, and she doesn't want to do it. Fair, but pretty stupid. She's the one trying to make all this money this month, pumping out the fucking content all day long. The rage is what the people want. She knows that's what gets the views too. What's she wasting our time for? Come on, yellow rage. Yeah, because Dead Alive. Uh, oh yeah, I forget that movie, but I did rent it a long, 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 long time. Actually, that's not true. Like so many people overeat or eat things that they shouldn't be or whatever. You're saying you only have to be eating salad to be happy? Give me a break. You know? And at least I don't sit there and attack other people. Like... You know, people who are not happy take it out on other people. And I don't do that. I don't do, I defend myself once in a while, but the amount of co the content I have is all my life. So the fact that I don't feel so bad about my life that I have to sit and take it out on other people, you know, I'm just saying. What are you saying? The fact is you feel so bad about your life that you sit there and consume food for a family of eight. That's how much you, you value your life. You're enjoying your life so much. You know you have the beatus. You know you've got the sugar foot. You know everything's dangling by a fucking thread. Sure, go ahead and get cake for 16 fucking people and sit there and eat them. And then the next day do that Chili's thing that we just watched. That was a family meal. No, no, you you love yourself. You definitely, definitely, you love and take care of yourself. And you're, you're not negative at all. You never come on the internet and attack people and take low blows. And docks the shit out of anyone who crosses your path. That's not you. Must be someone else. Chantal's Von Queef necklace. Thank you for the super chat. All she has to do is go outside and show stuff. Right? We love that recent stream outside because it gave us things to talk about. Right? They didn't really do anything at the mall even. All Listen, the only thing it costed her was one cappuccino. And it was still the best content that she's put out, in my opinion, in a long, long time. It's not that it would take the money, but it takes the effort. And she's too lazy to put in that effort because for too many years, she's just sat there and ate her fucking food. But as you can see by the views, that shit's not working anymore. Get off your ass, Chantal, and get moving then. Do something. And don't tell me that those reactors don't eat 3,000 plus calories. Because again, what it might I remind you, they don't even have the nerve to cam up because they're so ashamed of how, how big they are. So please. They are low lives yeah. for collecting and uh, gathering the money for a joint hit for someone mm. online. Mm. Yeah. I know Scatman didn't just call me a fucking lowlife. I know Scatman in the corner over there didn't just have shit to say about the money that I make online or that any of the other reactors do. You fucking idiot. You're playing someone for papers and living on her back. And when she came back, you were trying to line up the next one. You're calling anyone a lowlife? I've never uh, had a great fantasy. I've never spoken to anybody the way that you were speaking to Kybella. You're calling me a low life? Stay in your fucking place, you little tiny man, bitch. Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and wait for her next fucking check to come in. Okay? Go earth, earth somewhere else. Stay the fuck out of the rest of our asses because the rest of us are living on our own, our own capabilities and standing on our own two feet. Your two feet are too fucking soft, just like your floppy fucking tits to do anything on your own. Shut the fuck up. And your bitch of a fat fake wife needs to shut the fuck up too because this entire thing would tank right now if it wasn't for us. And Chantal, if you really think that everybody else, all the other fatties in the world are eating 3,000 calories a day, that is another clue of just how delulu you are. Degrees to fat. There is, okay? Not everybody is 450 fucking pounds. Not everybody takes down a dinner for eight people every night. And yeah, you can still be fat, but that's why you're not fat like you or Amber Lynn. Get it through your fat fucking head. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you for the super chat. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Like, the book banks I do, I do it like it's content for me right now, you know, like basically. And I guess like I'm doing it more like just kind of, I don't know, experimenting also like eating what I want.
Yeah, Tater Fluff Bondu. Thank you for the super chat. Fucking massive ass pussy standing off camera saying all that. And remind you, uh, he had to stay away from the camera for months because he was so ashamed because of all the shit that he was outed for saying to Kybella. Now he's talking big in the corner like the big bitch that he fucking is. Fucking massive loser. Great fantasies. Hates the women from the Western world, but... It seems like that's what you're depending on. Women from the Western world to get your loser, unemployed, poor ass to the Western world. Shut up again, Salad. And, and seeing how I'm able to manage the rest of my day with keeping like it in check. Like, you know, it would be different if I was eating the mukbang and then like, you know, eating crap all night. Like that would be, you know, different. But I don't know. It's just, yeah. But you do eat less now than your old videos. Yeah, I don't even finish my food sometimes. Like, I ate the pizza. I was really hungry that day, and I didn't find it that filling. But my spaghetti mukbang, for instance, I ate half. And people are like, you ate a whole plate of it. You ate two pizzas. Let's not get it twisted. You outed yourself when you brought the boxes out. The spaghetti mukbang, everybody had understand understood while we watched it that that was your second plate of spaghetti. We just watched you eat um, a, a table full of sweets. You're really going to argue about the size of your mukbangs now? After the spectacle you've made of yourself over the last few days, that's a choice. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. That's right. Patricia Thomas, again, needs to stay the fuck out of business, uh, women's business. No, I have. You watched the whole video. So it just depends, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> People say Salah doesn't care in the face he defends you. And when they attack you, it's like they attack Salah because you are one. He's a good husband and supports you. Yeah, they don't see behind the scenes. Maybe he doesn't approve of what I eat, but I'm a 40-year-old woman and I'm going to eat whatever the heck I want to eat. He doesn't approve of what you eat, and yet he's the one who went out to that sweet shop and bought all those fucking sweets for his fake wife so that he'd be able to leave his fake wife and go out to wherever he was invited yesterday. You didn't go to the sweet shop. He went to the sweet shop. And that's how much he chose to buy for his death fat wife. Yeah, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't need to know what goes on behind the scenes. Enough. Uh, <laughs> just what you show us on camera, we understand. Okay, it's it's enough. He could give you nothing but celery behind the scenes. He's still trying to fucking kill you. Golden Pondu, goddess of the freaks. Thank you for the super chat. Salad, let Chantal take a peek at your phone on stream. Ooh. You know, like. Um, I believe that there's 85% of your meals, your mukbangs, you keep leftovers. You don't even uh, continue. Or yeah, all. yeah. I, I see it by my eyes. Yeah, give it to you. Like, you eat the leftover chilies. Or you keep it in the fridge and heat it later. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, Sam is okay. I got a video of him actually the other day. Yeah, he's happy with, with his family now, you know. But yeah, I wish I could have him. You can't tell an Aries woman what to do. No, you can't. You can't. Thank you, Wolf Pup. So yeah. Hey, Sham. Oh, Sham. I, I don't I don't find that like super restricting also doesn't work for me at all. Like, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's hard to explain to people. No, no, no. It's hard to explain because you're bullshitting. And when you're lying, it is hard to explain because people look at you with an eyebrow, eyebrow raised like, how stupid do you think I am? So you have a hard time explaining your bullshit. There's a world in between all the cakes you ate the other night and restricting. Okay? Those are the two extremes. Why do you have to live your life in the extremes? Even if your fat ass needed to taste every goddamn cake that was on, like, uh, that he brought into the house... Why, like we said the other night, didn't you just cut yourself a little, like a, a two bite of each one, knowing that you have a problem controlling yourself and knowing you, your problem is with food? Why would you sit there, make your thumbnail? I know she's going to start, it's for the mukbang, it's for, okay, take your thumbnail and get that shit off of the table. You know you. Make yourself a serving and, and like put a padlock on the fridge with the rest of it. Swamp Boogie Sue, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Chantal, an experiment is when you try fasting for a few days, not when you're eating and, yeah, is business as usual. Uh, business as usual and worse. Fuck, those sweets the other day. I, 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 I was at a loss for words yesterday. I could not believe what we were watching. People who don't, like, don't have binge eating disorder, you know? <laughs> Me, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when they said Salah's not real and that you would never go to Kuwait? Another way he would stand me up at the airport. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, like, so, whatever they say. Yeah. Like, who cares? <laughs> yes. It's not realistic, but the pizza was thin. It was, like, thinner. I don't know. I'm not saying it's, like, super healthy to eat a whole pizza, but, I mean, I don't know. 
that's why I just wanted to stop talking about it because I don't want to like give people all this like hope of like following a health journey that like I can't commit to in the way that people expect me to like they expect me to go like all gung-ho and like you know I just prefer to just like keep that completely offline yes look at Neil says uh Salah Thai Ab Chantal and Pete Salah please <laughs> and the hypocrisy they're gonna say oh he's forcing and uh, pushing her to it we've only solid <laughs> yeah they would say that yeah. yeah he's being controlling whatever you will do they will uh, find any stupid theories from their brainless and they'll talk about they yeah. will, they will fill the you know the, their live stream the stupid shitty uh, uh nonsense mm. uh by uh, posing on that uh space, space, bar. space bar every five <laughs> seconds oh my god that's so fucking boring I know I'm telling yeah. you that. I know I, I, I don't even have a comment back to Patricia Thomas because I didn't understand a fucking word he said. All I know is he was like glitching out fucking uh, Patricia Thomas thing in the corner. Shut up, Patricia Thomas. Go and put your fucking bra on. Come out. Sit down next to your fake wife. Shimmy a little bit and be Patricia Thomas. Or shut the fuck up. You you massive fucking pussy. Massive fuck. Yeah. Scatman, the grape fantasist. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> Judgmental critical cricket. Thank you for the super sticker. Yep. How's my life went the opposite way? It's hard to find balance. Yeah, it is. Hissy fits. It is. I feel like you're you're doomed if you do. You're doomed if you don't. You know, it's like, I don't know. Imagine three hours uh, like a uh, reaction live just for uh, like 20 minutes. Someone eating online. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. It's stupid. No clue. Imagine some loser waiting 20 minutes for his fat wife to be on a plane to start talking about shitting on another woman, uh, coming in Bibles and graping people. Imagine. Nothing like what, what, what are doing? Yeah. Andrea, I'm going to say this once, just one more time, because I've said this before. I didn't give up my cats just for a man, okay? Yes, I gave them up to come move. Dipshit, do you do you not hear the quote of you? It's what starts our intro every single night. I gave my cats away for you. No, that is not the reason that I gave my cats away. I did not just give my kids away for him. I also gave my kids away because I was sick of having any responsibility. Uh, jokes on you, fucking idiot. Move here and be married, and I decided that rehoming them was in their best interest because I thought it would be cruel to bring them all the way here on the plane, and I was freaked out by even thinking about how to do that and I thought that they would be better it would be better for them and less traumatic so that was the decision I made at the time and that's it so yeah and a lot of people have to do that you know of course I wish they were with me I dream about them all the time you know so I don't know maybe someday I can find a way I don't know I saw a video of a cat a long-haired cat that passed away they were put in like uh on the Qatar Airways plane and it overheated and I just like it freaks me out just thinking about like them they get freaked out going to the vet like if for a 20 minute ride you know I don't know it's interesting too. Yes, she's lazy and cheap and okay, I'm glad that the cats didn't have to go on the plane ride and stuff, but let's devil's advocate this that I don't know, BBJ was younger and uh, they were okay to make it or whatever. There was still a big obstacle in her way because she was in such a rush to get to Kuwait again. No planning, no nothing, and she hadn't been taking care of her cats. She hadn't been taking them to the vet regularly. They weren't vaccinated. You can't take a, a a pet over an international border without, it's like an international travel document for your pet. And you can't get that document if those pets aren't vaccinated up, chipped up, completely legit, above the board with the papers in your hand, in your name and everything. Not only was there no way to transport them there, she didn't have the money, BBJ was too old, yada, yada, yada. Even if she had, there's no fucking way she could have done it. She would have had to wait at least a month for the vaccines. So not going to happen. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. One of her cats was literally stolen. Yeah. Yep. He's a good man. He's a Oh, shut up. Thank you, Rosalia. Shukran, Rosalia. Yes. I appreciate it. Of course, Yanni. She's in good hands here. And uh, I got your back, babe. Thanks, babe. That's why despite anything that's happened, it's, I always, you know, I, I love being with him because he's just amazing husband and like, so many other ways, you know? So and you are wonderful one. Thank you. I try. Yeah, he's a really great husband. He lives off of your money. He doesn't do fuck all. Uh his family wants absolutely nothing to do with you and can't blame them for that. He's a useless human being who couldn't find a way to immigrate on his own and has to try and do it on the fat back of some dumbass who's desperate enough to try and make him papers. Um, he 
overfeeds you to the point that the leg is dangling by a fucking thread. He's the one who went out and bought all those cakes. He's the one who brings you most of the, the takeout that you get. And then the second you turn your back, he's trying to replace you with, quote, someone he can pick up. Because as one of his old Facebook posts let us know, a woman over 200 pounds made him sick. That's your husband, Chantal. Tell us again what a great fucking man he is. I'm not always the best, but... Nobody is different. No. Yeah, Hissy Fitz, you're right. I've explained it a hundred times. Like, you know, people have seen me, people be home pets for different reasons. Yeah. It was like not an easy decision at all. It was very hard. Like, I don't know. Uh, again, shut the hell up. Are you acting like this whole thing didn't play out on your channel? It wasn't an easy decision. It was just so hard. That's why two days after starting to talk to this guy, I put the hijab on for the first time. And two days later, I'm telling everybody I've met someone and I'm going to get married. It wasn't easy, you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a, a tricky situation, but it does make me sad. Yeah, it makes me sad a lot, too. Like, I have legit trauma from that. Like, I, you know, I, I don't know. I dream about them all the time. That I'm, like, finding them on the street. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I try to gra grab them. And Stop using the word trauma to make your story have any validity. You have trauma for abandoning, you You abandoned your two pets for some fucking loser on the other side, a stranger on the other side of the world. And you have trauma from abandoning your two pets. Okay. And bring them back and everything. It's really hard. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get Sam. I don't know. Coffee McQueen. Hi. Welcome to Very Important Teasers. Ready to Welcome. Thanks for joining. Meep, no one is perfect except God. Exactly. Thank you, Meep. Thumbs, yeah. Yes. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thanks, Meep. I peachy. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll get Sam back someday. I don't know. But yeah. So, and with BBJ, well, I didn't think that she was going where she was going. And the person who has her now is using her as a tool to hurt, try to hurt me. And it is hard having had that cat for 21 years and not knowing what her end will be like, you know, um, I expect. Says the woman who is mad that she didn't get the chance to murder the cat. Says the woman who fessed up and says that she was taking her for an end of life consultation. Says the woman who gassed up the community for the two weeks, the like the last two weeks she had BBJ, uh, making comments about throwing her into a wood chipper and would she like a uh, bass? Uh, what, what was it? A box or a bag? No, she doesn't like that. She doesn't know how it like how it's gonna end for BBJ. Oh, fuck you, you fucking insincere cosplaying sack of human garbage. I expected that the person I was supposed to read Homer to would, you know, they said they would keep in touch and let me know how she's doing and send pictures and things, and that's not going to happen. Yeah, see, like in the comments, there, there's too many people, they rehome their pets because yeah. it's something they moved to another state, another country, another world, to another life. Yeah. It's, it's happened. Yeah. It's happened. But only the wise and intelligent people, the smart people, they will realize that. Mm. The blind zombies, they will never accept this. Like, what? And they do it in real life. Yeah, 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 exactly. I bet for that. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about what we do in real life. Here's what I do in real life. I financially take care of BBJ, and she's living her best life. Thank God, a retirement, like, no pain and no problems, unlike with your heifer of a fake wife. Let's talk about what you do in real life, salad boy, scat man, grape fantasist. Hmm? That's what you do in real life. You have fantasies of coming on Bibles and stuff. But you also tried to act like the world was Islamophobic for calling you salad. You cheated on Chantal. I don't even know if the plan had taken off yet. You were already chatting with Kybella. And let's all keep in mind, we talk about Kybella and we talk about Kybella. That's the one we know about. <laughs> That's what you do in real life. And in real life right now, you're living off of this fake wife's income that she earns, stuffing her fat face on the table full of sweets that you bring her to eat. That's your real life. <laughs> hey, why don't you go for a drive? Get in that cherry and hope to God it doesn't burst out in flames. Uh, just like they make fun of me having beetles yeah, yeah. and they half of them have it. Yeah. So they are psycho. They just want to let you know. Uh, what? Yeah, we do make fun of you having the beetles. Not the fact that you have the beetles. The fact that you don't give a shit that you have the beetles. But I don't know anyone, like, reactor-wise in the community who has the Betas. Maybe there are. I don't know. But certainly not half of us. I 
I would have heard about this. I pers- I don't know anyone in the community reactor wise who has the beta. Just you, Chantal. Yeah, entertainment was showing kids was like another one that saw the was. Yeah, I hope she is being well taken care of. I hope so. You know, like I took very good care of them for many many years, and you know maybe. I- not according to the vet. Fork Sniffers Anonymous, thank you so much for the super chat. At least BBJ has dignity and a community that cares. Thanks, FFG. My pleasure. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> cat's not my favorite. I know, no, the community doesn't like when I say that. It is what it is. But an animal who's in pain and suffering, that doesn't sit well in my heart and it never will. And to make jokes about offing a pet that you've had for that many years and then to find out how much that pet has been neglected, it makes me sick, sick. And this fucking sack of shit sits there trying to judge the community and put us all into the same shit basket with her. Hmm? She can talk about uh, everyone's as fat as her. Everyone has the beat as everyone sleeps with a fucking machine on. Everyone takes a handful of pills a day. Delulu. Not one person has ever had a problem because of animal abuse or been called an animal abuser or outed by a vet as being an animal abuser. That's just you, Chantal. Keep that in mind as you burn in hell. I was a bit neglectful at one point, but... At one point? A bit neglectful at one point. Yeah, sure, let's minimize it. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you for the super chat. It's all bad, you know, but they they still like ate and everything and it wasn't like... I knew about her nails and saw them and then didn't make an appointment, you know? So I don't know. It's stuff that weighs on my mind a lot, actually. And definitely I do miss them a lot. So, but I had people from everywhere in my family, like, you don't bring them on, don't bring them over there. Do you know how cruel that is? You know, like, and I had only a month to move out of that villa and deal with everything. It was a really, really hectic. So, but yeah. And imagine that the cutie that they love so much, not one of those people in your Funkle family said to you, hey, you know what? I'll take in the cats for a few months until you do your next visa run and you figure out what you're going to do. Not one person in that Funkle family offered that for her. That's how much they care about her, her cats, full of shit just like her. Remember, the mother put down the cat when she was a kid. Why? Because it was biting the butter. A fully healthy cat was biting the butter gets put down. She learned this at home. This is what she was taught by her Shmi. Shmi didn't bother to teach her anything about like how to behave in society, how to fucking use a fucking fork, how to not make, a, I don't know, orgasm sounds out of meatball. No, no, no. She didn't teach her any of that. She taught her how to murk cats. Ray Antics, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like I was wasting away and rotting in that villa too, you know, like just getting high and just still eating, but a box of lock on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should have listened to my mom. She's like, don't rehome, don't rehome BBJ to somebody that you don't know. But like people put up ads, right? But I've hated her. So your mom says, don't rehome BBJ to someone you don't know, but then doesn't say, I'll, I'll take her in. Your mom, the cat marker was like, don't rehome her. Just follow in your mother's footsteps. You are my little shit apple cutie. Just go and murk the cat. I didn't realize that somebody would do that. You know, somebody would take her. Like, you know, that wasn't her. That wasn't the person I was talking to. I never thought someone would do that. So. Gina Marie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah. Well, There's no proof for her life now. Yeah. That is so cool. I, I love that. Thank you for adopting an older dog and, you know, giving them a nice retirement. I love that. More than five months ago. Yeah. Julia's nail, but BBJ's was always taken care of. Always went to the vet. She had a doctor. Uh, I'm not playing this game with her anymore. I'm not going to keep pausing and go, no, she wasn't taking the vet. No, she didn't have a doctor. No, 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 no. We all know this at this point. Um, I'm sick to death of this topic. It's been ages now. And notice that nobody was talking about BBJ and hasn't for a long, long time. And she brings BBJ up again uh, and says that BBJ is being used for like a uh, I don't even know what she said, clout or views or manipulation or whatever. No one was even talking about BBJ. You brought up BBJ again, you stupid asshole, because you have nothing else to talk about and you're trying to make your fucking visa run money. Katie, thank you for the super chat. Everything that happened with BBJ was all due to Chantal's choices. Absolutely. That, you know, Pete and I would take them to in Orleans. And this is just like, this is like not a regular thing. This is This wasn't how they were taken care of on a regular basis. Like I, you guys seen those cats in my videos, like for years, you saw how happy. 
prove us wrong. This is the last thing I'm going to say about this. So that I, I'm not going to address it again tonight. I just, you just said you took the cat regularly to a vet in Orleans. Post up some proof. Post up a few bills. Like the most recent one. Post it up. Prove us wrong. It's just that simple. You love to prove us wrong. You love to dunk on us. Ha ha, I hate your ass bitches. This would be such a simple one for you. Prove us wrong. Happy they were with me. You know, in the old place where I was with Bibi and like, you know what I mean? Bibi, so I saw your old videos. I was how Bibi was so happy with yeah, you. Yeah, she was healthy. Okay, bye, creepy. So it's, you know, yeah. So anyways, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say, but that's how it is now, I guess. So I have to deal with a lot of those things, you know, and uh, Julia. Oh boy. Darlin Rodriguez. Thank you for the super chat. Mr. Snowflake said BBJ's rescue is in the next part of the docu series. Oh, damn. The next part is going to be lit. Cuba rage and BBJ rescue in one part. Oh, oh, I can't wait till next part. No pressure. <laughs> Mr. Cardigan Gorley. Thank you again for the super chat. This is what been on the reddit thread i told you about it's her that dragged my name and talked about this and your brother all right she goes to pet zone if i'm not up to go as well so i will just take her quick to pet zone they cut her nails you know every two and a half to three weeks as soon as they get a bit long we notice like she's starting to scratch you can be like you can just tell when her nails you know but my mom couldn't take her andrea she has a dog and she just can't have a cat so um what about your uncle phil that you're so close with what about your sister that you insist does not hate you what about your uncle what about you you had claimed to have all these friends still in cornwall none of them could have helped you out for three months while you figured it out hmm but yeah thanks golden girl <laughs> fossils i like the drunk monkey that's funny where are you baby oh there you are come see mom come see mom and dad but she reminds me a bit of BBJ. She does. Yeah. So anyways, Sam's been in the same place since. A very nice home. I get regular. What? The matted fur? Is that what reminds you of BBJ? Or the fact that the cat doesn't like you? Videos. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll reunite. Thanks, Golden Girl. Thanks, Golden Girl. Forgive yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, sitting there like the animal lover we know you are not. When are you going to get her spayed? When's her appointment for vaccines? Oh, oh, I know. None of our business, right? She's not talking about her personal life online anymore, right? All right. Hi, Robin. Thank you. I'm okay. Hi, Rosemary's baby mama. Nothing. Just talking about memories and stuff. Just talking about the cats and stuff like that. Yeah, baby, Jane and I have. It's so dark with happy thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought I was acting responsibly. Yeah, hissy fits. That's it.